There's certain music I always go back to. I seem to go back to ACDC a lot. I don't, I don't even know why. It's just, it's so pure. I ended up seeing ACDC by accident and before I liked them when I was in high school. How did that happen? I don't know. I was going, like, I was hanging out with a bunch of dudes at, like, Journey. Like, yeah. you know, my friend Dave, he was like this, he, he's a great guitar player, that guy passed away but uh but he loved journey so we ended up we were going to see journey i must have been 15 uh at the civic auditorium in albuquerque new mexico and and acdc with bon scott was opening how is that even possible 76 i was 13 it was probably 77 or 78 and it must have been a pretty early tour but i just remember just you know seeing bon scott and not knowing what the hell was this <laughs> and i i wish i had had a deeper appreciation of them then because like I grew to love them a lot as I got older. I came to a lot of things later. Like I, I, you know, there were certain points in my life where, where you you hear about somebody and how important they are, and then it's sort of like, well, I better figure out why. Mm-hmm. Like I remember doing that with the Doors. I remember doing that with the Stooges. Like the Stooges, like it was probably nineteen shit eighty nine or ninety, where like I just got turned on to. Uh, uh, to I remember listening to Iggy Pop's um, "The Idiot." in college but i never was a real stooges guy and then i just started playing the stooges and i and i can't live without them now same with the mc5 um velvet underground i was a huge fan of velvet underground in college because someone turned me on to them and then i got really immersed in that and i just i've had to go back because i'm a weird age i'm 46 yeah i miss the 60s i even miss the early 70s for the most part Mm -hmm. so by the time i was listening to zeppelin and any of those bands, I mean, they'd already peaked out in a way. Mm-hmm. So you're kind of backtracking, but they never seemed to go away. I mean, when I was in high school, it was like, I remember when Van Halen's album, first album came out, like it was insane. Like every car in the parking lot, was, yeah. we had doors open, <laughs> Jensen triaxles just pumping out eruption. Like you'd walk out and it was just like, it was like a, like something mystical had happened. It had changed the entire game. I remember when the first uh, Dire Straits album came out, it was like, what the hell is this? And then, of course, there was Foreigner. I remember when Hot Blooded came out. I was in high school then. And there was a lot of heart around. I mean, it was a weird time for music because, you know, disco was crashing. New Wave was coming up. You know, punk was starting to come around, but it hadn't really integrated itself into the, you know, the archetypes of uh, of high school. There, you know, in my high school, there was, you know, still the jocks. There was the freaks. And then there were a couple of dudes that liked, you know, punk rock. And you're like, you know, where is that coming from? So that was 77, 76. And then uh, I remember when the Nax My Sharona happened and it was just, yeah. that was all over the place. <laughs> but I remember that happened with Nirvana too when I was in, uh, when I was in New York and that thing was everywhere. You couldn't, you know, it was like yeah. just blaring everywhere. It was like the same thing with the Van Halen thing. It's like, oh my God, there's been some sort of primal shift mm-hmm. in, in popular music and you couldn't, you couldn't deny it. Music by radio. Stories at the intersection of 